everyone welcome back to the channel today we are going to be building a ai based voice assistant for a small business ai assistants are very versatile from lead gen to booking appointments to any back of the office operations that you can think of ai assistants are like power of having thousand interns this is going to be a three part video series or four maybe study before we go into what we are building to see the power of AI assistants. So Klarna used uh, AI assistants to reduce the workload on their uh, customer service agents. They were having 2.3 million conversations. That is two thirds of their customer service chats. It was doing the work of 700 full-time agents and they were working in 23 markets 24 seven and communicating in more than 35 languages. That's huge. So now let's see how can we build something similar. Do a small sneak peek into what we're going to be building today. All right. Hello, this is Mary from Pet Paws Grooming. How can I assist you today? Hi, Mary. Can you tell me where are you located? Sure. We're at 789 Whisker Way, Austin, Texas. How can I help you further? What times are you open? We're open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily, but uh, we're closed on Wednesdays. Anything else I can do for you? Yeah, what services do you offer? We offer all kinds of grooming services like baths, haircuts, nail trims, ear cleaning, teeth brushing, flea and tick treatments, and de shedding treatments. What does your pet need? And what is your cancellation policy? Call at least 24 hours in advance if you need to cancel or reschedule. We're pretty flexible. All right, and how much does this cost? Transferring the call now. All right, now since we have seen what an AI assistant can do, let's dive deep into what we will be building up today. So we're gonna be building an AI voice assistant for Pet Paws Grooming, a local pet center. And they're located at 789 Whisker Way. They provide these services. And there are some FAQs which we want the bot to answer. And we're gonna look at how we can build this bot today. For building this application, we're going to be using a voice pro infrastructure platform called as Baby. Baby provides developers with the ability to create custom applications over a voice infrastructure with low latencies. To get started, you just go to vp.ai and click on dashboard. Once your dashboard loads, once your dashboard loads, you see a lot of things, but we're going to start on by creating a new assistant. I'm going to click on create new assistant and we're going to set an appointment setter template. And then when I click continue, we're going to call assistant Mary Pet Boss. And let's create it. Right. Now, uh, out of the box, you get appointment setting agent assistant that you could use completely let's see what it all it does so we see a lot, bunch of things over here which we will go through in a second but let's see what we get out of the box we get hey this is mary from mary's dental so that's how they are introducing themselves and then then there's a system prompt telling them that they're a voice assistant for a dental clinic located at this address and they're open this time and they for booking the appointment they request to do such stuff and then it tells them what kind of uh, personality or persona this bot should have while talking to the customers. So that's pretty much all configurable. Um, you do see tabs like uh, you see on the right side, there are providers, there are models that you can choose from. So you can choose which provider you want to go with, Grok, Anthropic, and you see which model you want to use. So suppose in the, our case, we might use ChatGPT. 4o cluster then you can add your knowledge based documents i already have added my knowledge based document but you can click on add 
new document and then just add your docx file over here then you can change the temperature depending on how creative you want your bot to be and then there is a number of tokens that you want to assign to bot to use at each turn and similarly you see on the top there is a cost and there is latency in the cost you can see segmentation wappy has a fixed cost 0.05 dollars and then speech to text would take another 0.01 and then the 40 cluster is going to cost us this and so and then uh, the 11 labs voice we are using would cost us another amount so you can see as we change the cluster the cost would switch so there is a increase in cost if we change the cluster similarly this is for the web calling and if we switch to phone calling you would see there is an increase in latency and there is an increase in the price and similarly you can see for latency the price the increase in the milliseconds is because of call to being made to twilio and the call coming back so you configure it according to your use case and what's appropriate for your system currently apart from that you see these straps over here so you can choose another provider for transcriber currently it's set to deepgram you can switch to talkscriber if you want to you can also change voice providers there are multiple voice providers over here and you can change the voice over here also so let's go ahead and pick up an another voice over here let's see like shazia so let's put shazia's voice over here and let's look at function so you can also do custom function calling which we will be seeing in the part 2 and part 3 of the videos on how to set it up and as we saw that you can do human transfers whenever needed by just setting up your forwarding phone number you can also enable end call function so when sir, some certain phrases are said you can end the call at that time so we will be configuring all of this in a while and then there is advanced settings so depending on if this is for a dental clinic you might have to turn on HIPAA compliance which means there is nothing going to be saved no logs no transcription and there are other few settings which you might want to configure depending on how the bot goes this is kind of an iterative process once you put this bot in production live then you could actually go and configure these based on the feedback you have been getting all right that's pretty much it let's let's start modifying the prompt to make it look like the prompt we want for pet boss cleaning first step we're going to do to set this up we're going to use we're going to add a pet boss grooming knowledge database all right doing some iterations i have already gone ahead and created a prompt so we're going to replace this dental assistant prompt and we're going to put in the prompt that we have uh that i have created already and i'm going to walk you through this prompt so you have voice assistant pet paws grooming and then you are located at 789 whisker way you are open 9 a.m to 7 p.m and similar to that we have added few extra information which i came up through iteration uh, with multiple calls playing with the bot so you see don't make up any information in use the given context in our case we wanted to use the things we provided in prompt and in the knowledge base uh, always end the conversation with have a good day don't use furry friends or furry balls um when someone asks for price we just wanted to try transfer it to a human agent and similarly if someone says they want to talk to someone and they want someone human to be talk to you can just we just tell them to transfer the call all right let's hit publish for once okay all right once we see one more thing over here we should change that is this is mary from pet cross me and then uh that looks good right and uh, let's look at over here and we want to add a forwarding number so i'm going to just add one of my numbers we're going to enable the end call function and we're going to say good boy talk to you soon at the end phrase so uh, in our case we have have a good day set as um 
have a good day set as end call function. So with that all in place, let's hit publish. And all right, for the next stage, we have to attach this assistant to a phone number to see how it performs. And over here, you can see the phone numbers and I already have input in mind, but you can use your already bought Twilio phone number, your Twilio account as ID, Twilio auth token, and provide a label to it. Those details you can get over from, if you go to your Twilio console and if you go uh, scroll down to this place, you can, there are easy buttons to just copy it and use that. Or you could also use WAPI to buy a number. If uh, I just prefer to use Twilio because it gives me uh, to play with the same number of different platforms and have more control. Um, let's go back to our assistant. And we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this assistant Mary Pet Paws to our phone number. All right, uh, now is the moment of the truth. Uh, let's make sure everything on the assistant is published and now we're gonna test it. Hello, this is Mary from Petport Grooming. How can I assist you today? Hi, Mary. I was hoping David. if you could tell me where are you located? I'm sure we're at 789 Whisker Way, Austin, Texas. How can I help you further? Mary, uh, I wanted to know what kind of services do you offer? Oh sure, we've got a bunch of services for both dogs and cats. Baths, haircuts, nail trims, ear cleaning, teeth brushing, flea and tick treatments, and dee shedding treatments. Just tell us what your pet needs. How can I help you today? And how much does a usual session take? Well, it usually takes about two to three hours, depending on the size and breed of your pet. Pets like their spa time. Anything else I can help with? Yeah, um, can you tell me what kind of products do you use? Sure, we use high quality, pet safe and natural grooming products to keep your pet looking and feeling their best. Any other questions? Yeah, uh, what is your cancellation policy? So do you want to book an Cancellation policy, we just ask that you give us a heads up at least 24 hours in advance if you need to cancel or reschedule. Anything else on your mind? Yeah, uh, I'm ready to book an appointment. Awesome, let's book that appointment. What's your full name? It's John Wick. Hi John Wick, what's the type and breed of your pet? It's a pit bull. God is a pit bull. When would you like to schedule the appointment? Date and time? I was hoping to book tomorrow. Okay, so you'd like to book for tomorrow. What time works best for you? We have slots from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah, let's do it at 9 a.m. Perfect. So 9 a.m. tomorrow for your pit bull. Does that work? That works. Thank you. Great, so we have you down for 9 a.m. tomorrow for your pit bull. Can't wait to meet him. Anything else I can help with? That's all, Mary. Awesome. See you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Have a good day. Awesome, so that was it. So we saw how quickly we could make voice assistant for pet paws grooming, which could answer questions and inquiries from the knowledge-based document and also take in booking details. However, we didn't book an appointment yet. For that, we will be doing another video which is going to come out soon in the next few days. Keep an eye open for it. Uh, it should be dropping sometime this week. And uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation content. I plan on posting videos every few days. And if you have an idea that I should uh, work on, please feel free to drop it in the comments. If you are a business who needs a custom solution for yourself or wants to innovate and focus on more higher level, higher value activities for your own customers, 
then please don't forget to book a consultation with us via the link in the description below. See you in the next video. Bye.